Hello my dear students welcome to Baiju's exam prep hope you guys are fine so guys in this session i'll quickly tell you the topics which you shouldn't miss if you are preparing for isro 2023 guys as you know that we are on the last phase of our preparation because hopefully we'll be getting to know that your admit card will be released in the month of september most probably because august is going to end so quickly if you haven't studied the topics which i'm telling you kindly do so because if you see the past years papers topics which i'm going to tell you from that questions has been asked on regular basis okay so why to wait let's start the session let's be quick first of all if you don't know about me you can go through my profile next you can join my telegram group for knowing uh, when my classes will be there for knowing the pdf for each and everything next coming further we'll start with each and every subjects one by one first of all uh, talking about strength of materials see when you talk about strength of materials in this sfd bmt becomes very very important along with that deflections you know uh, if you have seen the previous years paper, uh, papers they ask you deflection from a simply supported beam with central load uh, to the deflection of cantilever beam uh, subjected to a point load or udl so such questions have been asked then questions from bending stress simple questions are like uh, what is the different type of strains and what is uh, the uh, relationship between modulus of elasticity bulk modulus modulus of rigidity questions from that has been solved has been asked so we have solved that questions with you guys uh, because i myself made you guys solve three years complete paper uh, of isro okay 2016 uh, 17 18 19 okay so there i found that very simple questions are there but provided in that examination pressure you don't commit the silly mistakes okay then questions from transformation of stresses slope deflection has also been asked so kindly study these topics if any of this topics you have missed or skipped for now kindly revise it in the very last moment talking next is building materials building materials is very important guys because although the number of questions asked in gate is almost negligible but if you talk about isro isro they have asked questions regarding building materials like they ask you if alumina is more in cement or if silica is more what will happen they ask you the percentage composition if it is a rapid hardening cement what is the ingredient of it what is the one which causes rapid hardening so such questions have been asked talking about brick masonries they have asked uh, they have asked the various uh, uh, the screen closer and all those things they have also been asked talking about timber seasoning questions they have asked and they have asked that uh, for a well seasoned timber what will be the moisture content so what i mean to say that they have asked a lot of database questions okay and questions from admixtures retarders they have asked it and you see it it's not that one year they have asked question from admixtures so next year they won't ask no every year on recurrence basis they have been asking questions so if this year from big machinery they have asked question something of else topic next uh, next time they'll ask something related to it okay so it's on continuous basis they are asking questions now talking about from building materials is geotechnical engineering here simple questions regarding void ratio porosity has already been asked along with that you have to be very very clear with the phase diagram and soil water shear strength consolidation and effective stresses part uh, guys i'll also advise you wherever something related to measurement or equipment is concerned considered uh, kindly read that properly okay because sometimes they ask you in match the following or they ask you in mcq format okay now if you talk further uh, this was regarding geotechnical engineering i'll tell you the foundation part also wait talking about steel uh, steel generally they have asked questions related to codal provisions okay so they have asked questions related to codal provisions and next uh, they have asked questions related to girders and plastic analysis like uh, simple questions what is the shape factor of rectangular shape factor of triangular sometimes they will give you the shape factor value and they will ask that this shape factor is for which one okay so vice versa also they can ask you so you have to be very very clear with it now coming up next coming up next next we have foundation part of geotechnical engineering in this plate load test pile foundation simple formula based questions but slightly conceptual also has been asked okay along with terzaghi's formula of bearing capacity like if uh, water correction has to be included what will be the change in the ultimate bearing capacity so such questions have been asked 
okay so uh, make it sure that if you haven't practiced those questions or if you haven't studied the topics kindly do so next coming further rcc rcc if i talk about not a lot of calculation is there simply codal provisions like what will be the deflection what will be the span by depth ratio or uh, uh, basically different different codal provisions which you have it these codal provisions you have to be very very clear with that along with that pre stress concrete like you have more losses in pre stress or post tensioning pre tensioning or post tensioning uh, what are the losses included in pre tensioning what are the losses included in post tensioning what are the losses which are not included in short term losses so there are n number of questions which are conceptual provided you should have an idea about the pre stress concrete then uh, you have balance section under reinforce section over reinforce section so in balance section where will be the neutral axis in under reinforce it will be above or below uh, what fails first steel or concrete such questions have been asked in statement wise okay so kindly go through it once and specifically out of this three i'll advise you that first go through the codal provisions because that are very very important okay if you are preparing for isro or simultaneously if you are preparing for any state level examinations also Codal provisions. Uh, they have asked a lot of questions in the previous years, and they can ask you a lot of questions in the coming years. Okay. Now, talking about surveying here, uh, you have compass, traversing, and leveling. Kindly study these topics. Uh, I made you solve last three years papers. Okay, 2019, uh, 18, and 17. Particularly, what I felt was the questions of surveying, which was asked in these three years, because I made you solve it. If you haven't. Uh, seen it uh, this is available in the youtube you can uh, check it out in our channel so what happened is if you just see the questions of surveying you will notice that the questions of surveying were calculative in nature okay so if in case instead of asking simple theoretical questions in examination they ask you questions which requires a lot of calculations although you know it although you know the manner you can solve it but you know that this will consume time so kindly leave that question for now complete the entire paper and then come because 3 years one question was there for sure in which calculations were required and it was taking lot of time in that time i would have able to solve 7 to 8 questions rather than i spend it one question one uh, basically eight questions time in that one particular question so make it sure when you are solving such questions okay then talking about environmental engineering quality parameters of water in this i will advise you that go through the limits acceptable limit cost for the rejection limit talk about the impacts of it okay like uh, if a uh, metho uh, 45 mg per liter more uh, nitrate is present what will happen methemoglobia uh, globomenia will be there if recent pollution it is talking about what does it means if it is talking about old pollution or decomposition of organic matter is completed what type of uh, uh, element it is talking about what type of chemical parameter it is talking about so such things you should know okay then talking about treatment of water so here simple questions related to sedimentation not a very tough questions you can say okay then filtration what is the uniformity coefficient what is the uh, you can say effective size of the grains uh, for cleaning of slow sand filter what you do for rapid sand filter what you do so such questions are been asked filtration and like disinfection what is the disinfectant you used on prominent basis so such questions have been asked okay talking about walls i won't say that distribution system and all is important but the walls like check wall non return wall you call it okay then you have sluice wall gate wall globe wall butterfly wall and then for what else so wall you have it is drain wall scour wall so you need to know the functioning of it air inlet wall air relief wall apart from that you should know whether these are automatic walls or they are mechanically operated that is also important okay then talking about treatment of sewage in treatment of sewage you have various things but the main important from which questions have been asked one is from your activated sludge process trickling filter okay from this questions have been asked on prominent basis sometimes they ask very simple questions like oil and grease is to be removed by skimming tank in organic particles will be removed in great chamber so they have asked such questions but if you last that ma'am constantly from which topic they have asked so that is from activated sludge trickling filter oxidation pond there are sometimes that activated sludge process require which type of organisms activated sludge process is so it's like aerobic suspended growth process so such questions have been asked 
then talking about solid waste management so they will give you the condition and like indore method is which method bangalore method is which method uh, then if a, a waste is there which has a high calorific value then obviously you will go for incineration so they'll give you the condition based on that you have to tell which uh, solid waste management technique you have to use air pollution what is primary pollutants uh, which, uh, basically mark the secondary pollutants what is the impact of high concentration of co such patterns of questions have been asked okay so when i say air pollution that doesn't mean you have to study entire air pollutions and all those things but these simple things you should know along with that plume like when do you get lofting plume when do you get fumigating plumes just that okay not more than that these topics talking about engineering hydrology precipitation in this try to study the missing rainfall data here missing rainfall data questions from missing rainfall data i'm not telling you to study the entire precipitation and then simple questions like uh, rain gauges uh, which um, method takes into account the rain gauges which is located outside the catchment area so that's season's polygon method so evaporation you talk about here pan coefficient and all those things lake evaporation is equal to pan evaporation into pan coefficient groundwater hydrology you have to talk about aquifers aquifluid generally lot of questions are made on that like decreasing order of the porosity increasing order of the permeability all those things infiltration like factors affecting infiltration what does phi index account for what are does w index account for so factors affecting infiltration then hydrograph simple things that means what do you mean by s curve so basically uh, when uh, you have what s curve when you are lagging the same uh, hydro basically you are lagging the same duration of rainfall for infinite number of times so all those things then what is the equilibrium discharge based on that questions will be asked okay so such simple things talking about irrigation engineering yeah guys here if i tell you cross drainage structure is important river engineering works also they have asked questions okay duty delta that's very very uh, you can say basic just remember delta is equal to 8.64 b by d from this formula ha huh. what is wilting point hygroscopic water uh, then uh, what is field capacity questions regarding that has been asked lacy's theory kennedy's theory simple formula based questions so they are not going into very depth but yeah you should have an idea about these topics okay next coming to structure analysis uh, guys let me tell you uh, from structure analysis when i was making you solve three years paper one year they asked about intra dose in arches next year they asked about extra dose so uh, continuously in the three years they were asking questions from the arches okay so the ask question from arches the ask question from trusses okay so trusses like zero force members all, all those that they have asked and arches the components of arches they have asked okay so be very very sure about the components study that if you haven't talking about fluid mechanics so here you will be talking about pressure measurement okay Bern bernoulli's equation forces on plane surfaces flow through pipes losses in pipes just have an idea about the basic things okay fluid kinematics and model analysis model prototype and all those things kindly go through it once because i know that we are on the very last phase of it so if you have missed any topics so kindly go through it once okay because these topics questions are been as as, as i told you na it's recurring okay last second last is railway engineering so about the various railway components and cant how can you miss it cant is important whether you go for gate whether you go for esc whether you go for st okay so don't miss that talking about airport airport in this corrections and the design of taxiways these both becomes very very important. okay so guys uh, today in the session i have told you all the topics in case you have missed any topics and you haven't started to prepare kindly do so because like airport railway uh, fm and all i have asked from joshit sir uh, then uh, geotech survey and all i have asked from abhinav sir so they have also told me that ma'am tell the students that don't miss these topics uh, while they are preparing because we are on the last phase so if you have skipped any topic kindly go through it okay and if you have any doubt you can ask me in my telegram group or you can tell in the comment section and we'll meet you in the next video till then take care of yourself guys thank you everybody